William Tell Squadron, this is Colonel Walker. Listen up. The initial strike came up well short. The Angel Heart Squadron has been wiped out. Only Major Metton and Lieutenant Bradshaw managed to eject. The rest of the strike was chased back to the Hermes. They managed to destroy a few of the Toposk's destroyer escorts. But with our fighter wing on life support, we have to take the carrier out now, before he can regroup if we want to have a chance at keeping this system. I've talked with Captain Moran and we've agreed to send up everything we can, even ones that are down checked. Only half of the fighters have made it back from the first strike are spaceworthy, so we're stripping forces from our escorts to assist in the follow-up attack. The fighters left for the Hermes defense will be minimal. I will personally be leading this assault. We'll proceed from the Hermes to a holding point at Nav-1. Once there, we'll wait for confirmation that a little surprise Captain Moran has in store for the Kilrathi is in place. From there, we'll continue to the Tapost group at NAV-2. Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, and Hotel Wings will be providing the fighter escort. Alpha and Bravo Wings from U. William Tells will destroy the Tapost and all remaining escorts. We do not have the resources for another attempt, so we have to get this done. Remember, the Tapost is the carrier that wiped out Fort Crockett, bombarded Vega Prime, destroyed the Centurion, and ambushed us in Loki. If this carrier doesn't piss you off, I don't know what will. It's payback time. Leave no Kilrathi surviving. Kill everything. William Tell Squadron, you are the last to launch. Good luck and Godspeed to you all. Strike Team, this is Walker. All wings form on me. All units, set course for NAV-1. Proceed to next waypoint. Timetables are synchronized. We've mailed our Christmas gifts. Colonel, operation is a go. Strike team, we have a carrier to kill. Set autopilots to NAV-2. Anyone who wants to sleep before the big fight better do it now. Proceed to next waypoint. Wait, that's it? 
I thought I was gonna wake up today. ship missiles. Just a little gift from Captain Moran. Just the appetizers we need for this party. All fighters continue approach. if we flick the Kilrathi off in person. We'll be providing missile and gun support. My grandma's got better booze than that. Uh, I'm taking fire! better sight in the whole universe?
Ninja! Clearance, TCS Hermes? Sweeney, honey, there's gonna be one hell of a party tonight. You gonna slum with the pilots after we saved everyone's hides today? I think I can lower my standards for one night. Hmm, I wonder how low you'd have to drop them before you let me bug the hell out of you for the night. Oh, well, just for that, you get to come in last while your squad mates have first dibs. Maybe it'll give you time to think of some new lines to strike out with. Oh, man. Av, you are so never going to learn. William tells Squadron, with the exception of Avatar, you are cleared to land. How did it feel to finally stick it to the Tapuask? I still haven't come down from the rush. I've had a chance to hit the high points of our gun camera footage and I have to say, that was absolutely some of the best bombing I've ever seen. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these recordings become standard viewing in bomber instruction classes. I must admit, Captain Moran has some balls using the gravity of the planet to slingshot our battle group and engage those cruisers and destroyers up close. It must have been personal, but I can't deny that the firepower of our capital ships helped tip the odds in our favor. The Hermes might be just a carrier, but the old girl's nasty when provoked. On a sobering note, the Angel Heart Squadron has officially been disbanded. I'm not going to lie to you, we're in bad shape. We have only a few longbows left and only about 40-something other fighters spread across the other squadrons that are still flyable. Thankfully, we're due to receive a fighter shipment soon, and the rest of the Centurion pilots can finally start pulling their own weight. I don't foresee many more missions for the William Tells in the near future unless a new capital ship threat enters the system. But this campaign has taught me to never let my guard down. For the time being, we'll stand down. Enjoy the good times tonight, people, but stay sharp. We could be called back into duty at a moment's notice. Dismissed. <laughs>